I will introduce to you my house plants. This is my favorite. All of them are my favorite. This is my first favorite, Bougainvillea. It grows in the Mediterranean countries and it's extremely beautiful. In most of the Mediterranean pictures you will see it as a, um, a winding, uh, climbing up um, tree with uh, thin stems and bright pushier or magenta colored blossoms, sometimes blue, sometimes purple. Of course, I didn't even know that it was mango. Uh, just all of a sudden, a short stem with a huge, beautiful leaf, and that leaf kept growing. So I planted it in a separate pot, and here it is. I think we will have a few more leaves on top of it, so it will be a little bit taller. Uh, this one is uh, it's called Carnosa. 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 Um, in Russian, it is also known as a plush. Mm. This is not a tree, of course, but it's um, it's coffee. I can't drink coffee because um, it gives me heart palpitations. I came up with um, having these little jars with coffee, and um, uh, punctuated or punctured um, top. And uh, from time to time, I just smell them. These are cloves. And when I remember to take them, I take one, uh, one clove per day, maybe one clove per two days or per three days. It's just nice, no matter what the benefits are, and uh, there are multiple benefits. And this is... Uh, Ficus. So Ficus has other names, but uh, for me it's just a Ficus. I love this plant. It's very grateful. I look after it and um, it just keeps growing very fast. And while it's growing upwards, the leaves that it produces, they keep getting bigger. So while the plant is growing up, the new leaves mm, keep growing as well. And it's shiny, beautiful, what else? It's amazing. Oh, another nice feature is that the leaves that have already grown, they stay there. They don't wither and fall. These are my money trees that all of a sudden they started growing better. And uh, they have my love and my encouragement. So I made these nice seats on little pads for these um, gods of prosperity, I believe. And this one is avocado, another tree grown from a fruit which I ate. I heard a lot about avocados. It, it's quite fashionable in some countries to grow avocados. They even have avocado grow, um, growing um, communities and uh, groups. I didn't join them. I'm not mad about growing avocados. And I don't think it's actually, I don't think it's difficult to grow them. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I just uh, bury a stone or a seed. And after some time, it grows. It grows into a beautiful tree. I kept saying, I keep saying beautiful, but it's not just beautiful. It's um, let me say, it's versatile because this long stem is quite flexible. Outside on my balcony, I experimented with avocados. I um, bent them into a wheel, and now. On that wheel, I have new stems growing with beautiful, with beautiful, with fresh um, 
delicate, um, very elegant leaves. When they are new, the leaves have uh, this uh, slightly maybe pinkish purple green color which gradually becomes just monochrome green. Some more money trees here. Very promising. Well, this one is an interesting, an interesting plant. I thought I was buying a plant that would um, grow dense, you know, leaves. Um, it didn't work out. It was just a lonely stem standing there forever. Just as I was going to discard my plant because I kind of was fed up with just one stem sticking out, I noticed a baby stem nearby. It was such a joy. Immediately I imagine that if I have patience and just forget about them, don't expect anything from them, just keep looking after them and watering them from time to time, they will turn into a whole family of these vertical beautiful stems, which is fine. This is another Carnosa. Uh, some time ago I was really crazy about carnosas, so I bought a lot of them and I will show you in a while that one of them started growing beautifully. Uh, this one I bought as a little stem, two stems probably, uh, rooted, rooted um, cutting it was, and um, it wasn't doing well and until I potted it in a separate pot and all of a sudden it responded really well so it's aloe one of the varieties of the aloe another carnosa uh, from time to time i collect my lemon trees and plant them together another avocado tree and actually avocado trees are quite versatile as well and they can be um, long stemmed with some leaves on top or they can be like this looking a little bit like mango um, with a profuse foliage and um, just medium sized stem These are the flags of my favorite countries, um, which are looking after each other. Uh, this one is um, Golden Pathos, which is growing beautifully. It grows so fast that uh, some of the leaves just forget to unfold, or the plant forgets to unfold its leaves fully and just hurries up upwards this way yeah my lemon trees again put together this is the carnosa which i mentioned before which is developing into a fast growing um, multi-leaved plant one day i hope it will also give me it's amazing, stunning, fantastic bunches of star-like flowers. Here I created a little treasure, treasure glass chest. Let's see how it works. Mm. I put these um, LED LED lights, which I haven't checked yet. I haven't tested in them yet, but they should look nice. Here I'm just getting ready for some video shooting. Checking the settings, the camera. The
Later that day, I took a walk and took pictures of these amazing hydrangeas.